Good morning, Winchester Village. Happy Friday, February 9th, 2024. At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, led by the boys and girls from Mrs. Jaffe's second grade class. Great job, second graders. Please remain standing for our moment of silence. It is a free share Friday, and it's about our brains. So you have the power to control your mind, your behavior, and your choices. Think about how you can use that power for good today. So yesterday, we had some friends saying some mean words, saying some mean things to people. So let's think about how we can use our brains to process slow down before we say something or do something that's going to hurt someone or get someone sad. Let's bow. Great job, everyone. You may be seated. Today for lunch, we're having pizza pull-aparts, peanut butter and jelly encrustable, popcorn chicken salad with dinner roll, broccoli, fruit, and milk. We've got some students celebrating their birthdays today or over the weekend and a staff member celebrating her birthday over the weekend. Happy birthday today to A. Thune. Be sure to stop by the office for their, your birthday surprise. And over the weekend on Saturday, February 10th, happy early birthday to Imari Gage and Jean Mati. Those friends should stop by the office for their birthday surprise. We have a staff member celebrating her birthday over the weekend. Happy early birthday on February 10th to Miss Miller in first grade. If you see Mrs. Miller in the hallway, be sure to tell her happy early birthday. All right, make sure you've got your bus lanyard with you everywhere you go. You need it on the bus, you need it in the, in the cafeteria, it helps us move our school along faster. And make sure we are taking good care of our restrooms, we're throwing away our paper towels, we're throwing away uh, and flushing the appropriate things down the toilets so we can keep our bathrooms in good shape. And let's make sure that we are using our playground equipment correctly, we're going down the slides, not hurting anyone. And like I said, right now it is a little muddy. It can be a little mucky out there. So make sure that we're stomping off our feet on the blacktop so that we don't traipse mud all through our school. And um, I have to brag on Marcus, I believe from Mrs. Newmeyer's class yesterday morning. Um, he spilled something and he raised his hand. He let a teacher, he let me know. And I was able to get Mrs. Ray so we could get it cleaned up. So thanks for taking responsibility, even when you have a little bit of a spill. It's not a big deal, but be responsible and help us get it cleaned up. And let's make sure we're doing the best on the bus. I actually have to say we did a pretty good job with buses yesterday, but we need to make sure we are following directions of our bus drivers, listening, keeping hands and feet to ourselves so we can have a safe ride home. Um, the reading logs are going great. I know yesterday afternoon I talked to Caden from Mrs. Cloud's class as he was getting ready to turn in one of his logs of a book he read. Elaine from Miss Willis's class came in. She said, Mr. Schneider, I need another sheet. I read another book. And so great job to everyone who is turning those in, reading, following directions. I think we're probably going to have a really good chance of meeting our goal and putting some pies and some faces and so let's keep up that reading. I know it's going to make you even smarter. All right, Evaluate's going really well. Um, we haven't had a perfect score yet, but we've had a lot of kids show some extravagant growth. Um, 20, 30, 40 points, which is fantastic. Keep up the great work. And don't forget that your yearbooks are on sale right now for $17. Remember that after March, they will be 22, but we may not have a lot of extra yearbooks. So if you don't buy it now, they may not be around when we buy, um, when we get them and we may not have any extras. I wanna brag on these two fine gentlemen. Um, so yesterday afternoon, um, we had two late buses that were waiting in the cafeteria. And um, Degnan and Tadogby, I'm sorry, I said your name wrong. 
um, they were on one of the late buses and there was another little girl, I believe a first grader who's new, that when I called for the other bus, she got on the wrong bus. And so these two boys notified Miss Steeb and they said, hey, she got on the wrong bus. She's supposed to be on our bus. And so Miss Steeb brought them out to me and we were able to get on the bus. We were able to identify the right student who the bus driver then confirmed was on the wrong bus. So thank you for helping keep that little girl safe. Thank you for being aware of what was happening around you and not just worried, um, not just paying attention to yourself. Thank you for helping keep her safe so we knew where she was and we were able to get her home quickly. Thank you, gentlemen. Great job. All right. Um, wasn't a bad Thursday. It was a busy Thursday. And unfortunately, I had a lot of kids saying mean things to each other. I know I talked the day before about not saying mean things to your teachers, but I don't think I meant for you to have permission to say mean things to each other. And so I would love, love, love to end this Friday on a great note. That means we're listening to our teachers. We're keeping those hands and feet to ourselves. We had a little bit of that issue yesterday. So we can have a great Friday and a wonderful weekend. Remember, you are smart. You are capable. You're fierce and you're ferocious. There's nothing you can't do. Make it a great day, Wildcats. The choice is yours. Bye, everyone.